Hello everybody. I am so happy to be back. Hopefully doing at least somewhat weekly readings again. We have moved our location to my parents' beautiful home and property here along the Sugar River in New Hampshire. It is just serene and we're so grateful to them for sharing their home with us. And I, as much as I can, I want to try to get out here to do readings for all of you because I feel like the land, the property itself, has something to communicate, which I, I don't even know the, the gist of that, what that is, but I've just been feeling like it's frigid cold today, but I just knew I had to make my way out here to get a reading going. Um, and get this energy flowing because we've got the river over here and these beautiful trees and it's just an elemental paradise it's all I can say so I really want to let the property itself the energy here do the talking you know and very heavy like fairy energy in this location as well as all the elementals of earth air wind earth air water and fire um, so, I, for this week, I felt inspired um, to give us all a magic key. I felt like, from my very first reading here, um, that I wanted to launch it that way. And those who may know, I'm offering this set of readings called the Magic Key, and it's a set of seven readings. And I'm not bringing this up to sell the readings. It's more just I just completed the first set of these, which I wanted to wait till I was here to do it. And just <clears throat> the magic and simplicity of it, of the messages, just blew me away. Um, so I wanted to do kind of a general version for all of us, you know, all of your energy. <clears throat> no matter where, when you're watching or from where on the planet, we're all contributing to this. So these magic key readings are meant to just give you kind of a hint at this kind of magical, mystical energy that exists within you that feels, that makes you feel like anything is possible. And it blows open the doors of, and, and blows off the sides of any box that you may have felt that you've been put in or that you've put around yourself maybe even from a self-protective nature. It is, it's just wide open energy. It's just inviting you, you know, so more than anything, it's an invitation, these messages. So I'm gonna get to it. I got my cards buried here, and you'll see at the beginning of the video, like always, I give you the picture of the cards so that you can choose one or more of the cards. It doesn't matter how many you choose. So the first one up, this is from my brand new deck called uh, Mystical Moments Tarot by Katrin Wellstein. Um, and this is the beautiful, beautiful Two of Cups comes up. So what I get here is the magic key within yourself that's wanting to come forward. The cups has to do with emotion. And what I feel, the Two of Cups is always this grand uniting. And for some of you, it may be reigniting, reuniting. Interesting, I, I also mean reigniting there. Um, and I don't see this. The magic key is, it's incredibly personal, okay? These messages, no matter if you're getting the set of seven readings or I'm delivering this one free reading for you that is general in nature um, this has it's it's has to do with you coming closer to your own what I want to say is emotional intelligence and what I'm hearing is with this is to always be aware that something is blossoming and your emotions which the cups represent in the tarot the, your emotions represent an indicator, a guidance system, if you will, of 
how in alignment you are or not really in alignment you are to that magical portion of who you are. You could also say this is your higher self, your expanded self, your God self, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same concept. But those of you who know me know I love talking in magical terms because I think it's a really fun and playful way to look at life. So to recognize that anything, what is that emotion? If you had to guess, the emotion right now that you feel blossoming within you. And I don't want you to put any judgment on it. That's the thing. The magic key does not have judgment around, oh, that's a bad way to think, or that's a negative way to look at things. Just notice what has been arising for you lately. What has it been that you are uh, experiencing as an emotion and it could feel like a tide that comes over you. It could be really powerful. And again, don't judge it. But what is it causing you to want to discover, to explore, to perhaps change about yourself or your or components of your life? Um, because the emotion depending on how powerful it is and how often it reoccurs, it's calling you, the Two of Cups, it's calling you to this very level-headed part of who you are. That, that is what the magic keys, which we hold many of them within us, but it's something that is calling to you specifically if you chose this card that there, there is likely some emotion that you've been feeling intensely. And I want you to explore it deeper and to see it, reframe it into a blossoming of something. This is a part of you, it's a truth that wants to come through in a more powerful way. Okay, so that's up to you. That's your homework, which the Magic Key always has its own homework um, as to what that could be because it's going to bring you whatever answer exists within you it's going to bring forward a more settled and peaceful state of mind and most of all state of being so that this kind of alignment with with the wholeness of who you are brings a certain harmony with it okay card number two is from the soul coaching deck and this is success and you've got the stars in your hand makes me think too um, those of you into astrology you've got some good either alignments conjunctions you, you've got good stars happening for you right now uh, that's what I immediately am getting this card says success fills my life in ways beyond my greatest expectations and what I'm getting for the magic key for you um, is taking a look at, and this has been a theme with some of my other readings for the magic key. So it seems that it's like a broader wisdom um, and something we don't take a lot of time to investigate. But I would like you to spend some time thinking about all of the successes that you have had and you can go back as far as you want. You could make it your whole life, or you could just be looking at the last six months or the last year. But believe me, you have made very courageous decisions that have led to tremendously soul successful results. These are, these are parts of your life and outcomes and actions uh, that you are from a soul perspective, very happy with the results, very happy you made those decisions and took the courageous steps forward. I'm getting a lot of courage energy here. And by putting yourself in that kind of energy of these are my successes and I really need to celebrate those. You might even spend some time journaling on this. I want you, the point is to spend time marinating in that energy that's the way it's coming through marinate that sucker like really think about again whatever time frame feels best to you 
think about your successes because it gets your energy in a place where the stars align for you. And the truth is, they always do. But it depends where we have our focus. Where are we pointing our focus? And are we only looking? And, and gonna ask yourself, have I only been looking at the things that I haven't yet done or that I haven't yet figured out? That's the adventure of it. But by looking back at all of your successes and how the stars truly do align for you, you get that energy groove moving in that direction. It's just, we're all a bunch of toddlers, I have to tell you, most definitely including myself, um, that need to be redirected. Our attention needs to be redirected on how much success we have had to date. As a species, we tend to look at the negative side and say, oh, I haven't figured that out yet, or this is happening and that sucks, or I wish I could find love, or I wish I could change jobs, or, you know, whatever. I wish my health was different. Yes. Um, but you, it's, you need to divert the attention. I'm very, getting that very strongly. And I'm seeing that you are really at a crossroads right here. You have an option to go down a pathway that celebrates your success. And you are the leader of that. You are the train. You, you are the train conductor that can decide at that place where the tracks split off. What way are you going to go? And it, there's no judgment around it. It's just you get to choose. So why not marinate? I love, I love the use of that word for that. Marinate yourself in your success. And literally write it down. Think about it as often as you can. Because that is the magic key energy that allows the answer for something that could be stumbling you, you know, kind of tripping you up. Um, it, it could break that wide open. The final card is from the Magdalene Oracle. And, oh man, you have the secret. And, like, I mean, I often do think of the book The Secret. And so as a reader, I'm called upon whatever example wants to come up for me to give you as a message. And I just want to say, first of all, a shout out to my very, very dear friend, Carol, um, for giving me that book many years ago now. I mean has to be 12 or 13 years ago at this point. Um, that book is really how I started my spiritual journey. And it, it literally, um, it broke the world open for me. Uh, literally, in the moment that I read it, I mean, it just, things started happening that I couldn't quite explain. And the energy of it that was generated, the momentum, was tremendous. And so I'm feeling like a magic key for you is you never, just a reminder, you never know what is going to inspire you and break your whole world wide open in a very good way. I want you to, what I'm being shown is an egg, a very large egg being broken open and something really surfacing that has been waiting its turn to show up. So I, I would invite you to really think about and notice. You need to notice what you notice in your life. Where is your attention being drawn? Are you, is somebody recommending a book lately and you've heard of the topic or the subject or the very book itself numerous times? Is a video something that catches your interest? Is there a class that you really want to take? Because these Anything that inspires new thought is expansive. Guaranteed. It changes your whole energy field. It literally shifts the whole thing. And you just never know. In any moment, your life can forever be adjusted in a, in a very magical kind of a way. And you just don't know what that's going to be. Like my friend Carol giving me that book, The Secret. That's my prompt for you, that something is about to or has come across your path 
and maybe you've just been putting it aside and I would encourage you to not put it aside. Notice what you notice, okay? And I have to sign off because my battery's about to die. So <laughs> I've been recording all day. Um, so thank you, everybody. And I'll hope to be back with you next weekend, hopefully. And uh, thanks for hanging in there, waiting for another reading to come up. I always learn through you and benefit alongside you from these messages that really come from all of us. So thank you. Have a great week.